So was there a bigger surprise last year in college football than Iowa? I can't think of one. I mean, Kirk Ferentz's team proved the skeptics wrong week after week, an undefeated regular season, and just about crashing the college football playoff party, only to lose to Michigan State in the final minute of the Big Ten Championship game. Still, though, solid year for the Hawkeyes, and entering 2016, they'll again be led by the best defensive back in the country. He would have been no worse than a second-round pick if he decided to leave early. But he came back for one more year. We're talking about Desmond King, who's something special. He was the Jim Thorpe Award winner for the nation's top defensive back, eight interceptions, and double digits when it came to breaking passes up. And in my opinion, it was the defense that was the biggest reason why Iowa won so many games. They held opponents to 20 points or less in 10 of those 14 games they had a year ago, winning nine of them. Of course, you also have joining Desmond King, Miles Taylor at the strong safety spot. Middle linebacker is back. He was Mr. Active Josie Jewell, four interceptions, but also two, 126 tackles. One area of concern for Iowa, going to be rushing the quarterback. And they had two good ones a year ago, Drew Ott and Nate Meyer, but they both graduated. So we'll see how the rest of that defensive line does, if they can pick up the slack. Um, Anthony Nelson, he is a true freshman, should play. And also, too, you have uh, Jaleel Johnson at the defensive tackle spot. Again, Iowa was so solid last year on the defensive side. It's a good thing the Hawkeye D usually came ready to play because sometimes the offense lacked big playability. In fact, quite often. That's why that ranking for total offense is as low as it was. In fact, the team did not even average 400 yards of total offense per game. But often, quality is better than quantity, and Iowa very seldom turned the ball over. In fact, C.J. Beathard, who returns at QB, threw only five picks, so he managed the game well. Running game, you have LaShawn Daniels, who rushed for eight TDs a year ago. Wide receiver, the only proven go-to guy, Matt Vandenberg, he's back. But George Kittle could be the surprise at tight end. Only caught 20 passes a year ago, but six of them were for touchdowns. Left side of the line returns, led by Cole Crosden at left tackle. Time now for my six-pack of games to consume. And just like last season, Iowa has a very manageable schedule. In fact, they should be 7-0 entering their October 22nd showdown against Wisconsin. There's the Penn State game, which could be tricky, but Iowa gets two weeks to prepare for it. And, of course, the Hawkeyes will wrap up against Big Red the day after Thanksgiving. The Hawkeyes should be good enough to repeat as Big Ten West champs, but 12-0, that's not going to happen. Not enough proven pass rushers, and they need more big playmakers on offense.